Hello everyone, my name is Eric Figueroa and this video I'm going to talk about an important topic on sodium. The thing is that people are consuming excess amount of sodium and that could be that they're going out to eat at fast food restaurants, consuming junk food, or they're consuming salted chips and therefore. And the thing and that can lead to serious implications, can lead to fluid retention. However, in this video I'm going to specifically talk about sodium deficiencies to the point where people are restricting sodium out of the diet and that can be dangerous to the diet. So one of the common symptoms of a sodium deficiency is hypernatremia, meaning that they're consuming low amounts of salt. And the thing with sodium is that it does have its purpose and part of its purpose is that it supports blood regulation, heart activity, nerve impulses, the muscles, and what I mean about the muscles is that if you're experiencing muscle cramping, um, consuming high amounts of sodium does help as well. And it also is important to support the hormones as well, especially the adrenal hormones, and that's because that's where the salt is actually being controlled. So if you have a sodium deficiency, um, possible symptoms are headache, heart palpitations, fatigue, weakness, nausea, muscle crampings, and also low blood pressure as well. Um, potential causes of a sudden deficiency are vomiting, diarrhea, and that's because you're dumping out the fluids, um, excess of sweating, and that, could, and that could be due to losing sodium out of your body. Uh, if you're a diuretic, that could be uh, fluid retention, adrenal weakness, and also drinking excess of the amount of water, and that could also maintain fluids as well. So my two cents about water is that only drink water when you're thirsty. Um, the thing with sodium is that there are plenty of foods that contain high amounts of sodium, but good sources of sodium are Himalayan pink salt, which I use it in my recipes, also Celtic salt, salted butter, salted nuts, and also salted cheese. So whenever I go to the grocery store, if I had a debate between salted butter or unsalted butter, then I go towards the salted butter. So another important thing about sodium is that sodium does work hand by hand with potassium. Ideally, you do one of four to one uh, ratios. And our bodies require how much of the potassium? Roughly around 4,700 milligrams per day. That's equivalent to consuming seven to 10 cups of vegetables. So one last note about sodium is that when you start doing a ketogenic diet, um, you lose fluid retentions, you're losing minerals such as sodium and also you lose glucose as well. So to the point where you may be experiencing um, keto fatigue or weakness or cramping or the keto flu. So that's why it's important to consume uh, sodium as well as electrolytes as well. So this gives you a recap on the importance of sodium. If you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate all the love and support. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.